always been a huge frustration for me that not more snowboarders or freeriders are using ice axes and that they feel that it's only for mountaineering. Your ice axe is your seat belt, your boy, your margin of safety, and really without margin of safety, there's no exploration. There are two ways to use the ice axe. One way is the classical way, using the blade into the hard snow. And the other way is to use the handle into softer snow, deeper snow, as an anchor. So your ice axe can be useful in these following scenarios. Like first, getting cleaved out and needing to walk back up or to turn around. Without an ice axe, it's really often a very bad idea to hike back up. Up. Number two, securing yourself above a sketchy traverse, especially on the hillside edge for snowboarders. Number three, stepping on and off your board. So entering a line, putting your board on when it's really steep, a bit firm, or the other way around, needing to strap off when it's steep. This is key to have your handle of safety. And of course, anytime the snow gets icy, you know, underlying ice, snow that has been heating up and refreezing, boom you can lock yourself in, and this is priceless. So very often people ask me if I'm scared to ride with an ice axe in, in case of a crash. And personally, I've crashed many times with two ice axes in, in the hands with a lot of speed, and I've never felt any close to them. They basically explode away from you. And to be honest, I really love the feeling when I ride of having my ice axe dragging on the snow. It kind of gives me a bit of a perception of the ground and really helps me to stabilize myself. Mm -hmm.